What's up, ladies and gents? Another video brought to you by King Beave, KBTV. Anywho, today we're going to be talking about breeding and studying and all the fun. So it's pretty easy. I'm actually already here on the stud market. But it's pretty simple to get to it. You know, marketplace, stud service, whatever. And you can look and you'll see horses, males, that have been put up for stud by other stables. Your own, if you put them in here. You know, Scruffy, I've read with quite a few times. He's in there right now. 11 races, 4-1 and one in a career. 36.36 win rate. <clears throat> quite a few after him. And you know what? They have actually won. You know, like Immortal Collision. Or not Immortal Collision, sorry. Uh, damn it, there's a horse I have running right now. <laughs> I want to say it's called Scruffy Penance, but I'm not 100%. But I have like... Probably six offspring from this dude alone. Green Arcadia, Red Whip, Triple A. He's out of Thailand. Good dude. He's got good horses. Good stable. But the way you put a horse into stud is pretty simple. Just go to your stable. And, you know, if you want to filter them out or if you know exactly you want to put in cool, if not, you can go to filters. I like to put in Knox because they tend to be the most desirable. Like if you're trying to draw like third party business, you know, especially Genesis. Well, I don't care if it's stuck or not, but boom. Genesis comes up billions. And if they're in a race or they're prepared for a race, like this guy, ready to race, you can't enter them in a sudden market. They won't allow you. You have to totally withdraw. So, like, so I click on here right here, you see how it says withdraw. You have to do that first for your grade. It doesn't give you the option to try to even breed it, which I like. Before you could, and it was kind of confusing some people. But now they took it fully away. Like, you have to withdraw to breed them. Like Sun After Solstice right here. He's bringing 101 times, ran him a lot. You know, I don't know if anybody breed with him or not. <clears throat> I'm not going to breed him yet. Let's keep shopping. You know what, Moon Chaser? It's a good horse. Uh, we're going to notice he's not prepared for racing. His racing status is not ready. Oh, breed. Comes with the window. Now, here, <clears throat> there's a article about breeding and all that stuff. And, you know, depending on what duration, time that you set for, will depend on, like, the cut of this fee that you charge, which goes to your wallet. So if you do, like, a one-day is the least, you get paid the least. I mean, off the top of my head, I can't tell you exactly what it is. We'd have to read the article. But it's pretty easy to get to. So if we go right here, I'm in Discord right now. And we go to uh, start here, wherever the hell it went. Okay, maybe they moved it. Hmm. Maybe it's in the blog. Damn it. Always on the learning curve, aren't we? Oh, I'm out of breed, maybe. Nope. Getting started. Maybe they just need a different. There we go. All right, they put it under getting started. So, anyway. So, you can go in here. This is a good place to go because it's got tons of video tutorials, resources. Reading, how racing works, the difference between bloodlines and genotypes, the whole shebang. But really what we're looking for is, you know, breeding price and allocation. You go here. Opens it up. It's a really good article. I've been doing that for a year and a half now. Ballpark. But uh, this stuff is... Everything you need to read, if you're going to be in Zed and you're going to want to do this stuff, medium breeding prices, now a lot of this stuff has changed. Right? Like, they used to be 0.4. Right here. Bam. 0.4 to breed with a Z1. Now, right now, it's 0 0.09. But it used to be 0.4. So, just think of what that would cost you right now if you wanted to truly breed with a Z4. Or a Z1. And, dun, 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 dun. Bloodline and the Sire, I mean, it gets into the algorithm. What I was talking about in a previous video about, like, what happens when you breed with what equals what. Genesis, Genesis equals legendary. 
legendary with a genesis, exclusive. Legendary with legendary, exclusive. Now, if you bring a legendary with an exclusive, you get an elite. Exclusive with exclusive, elite. See how this goes? Boom, all the way to Pacer as a genotype. And more weighting, how things are measured. And now here's your duration of stud. This is what I was talking about. So if you want to do a one-day stud fee, you'll only receive 24% of the breeding fee. Three days, you'll get 30. Seven days, you'll receive 36%. So it really does behoove you. If you're going to put a force in stud for a third party, seven days is where you want to go because you're going to get the most out. You know, you put them in there for 30 bucks a pop, you're going to get ball more 12 bucks. You know what I'm saying? If you're just trying to breed with your own stable, this is where you want to go right here because you don't want anybody else trying to like tofer or like sneak in on your horse because it's breeding rights and all that. But plus, you also receive the lease package. If you breed with yourself, you get a 35% discount on top of it. So, a 0.09 horse, instead of being 0.09, it's going to cost you about 0.06 instead. So, this is a really good article to read. It tells you how everything's weighted, you know, how it all goes down. Like I said before, I really recommend that you guys read, if you're new to Zed, or maybe not new to Zed, maybe you haven't read all these, didn't know they exist. You know, breeding and coat color. Like, how how does a foal get his coat color? You know, a lot of it's like, cover two, if you breed two horses of the same coat color, and their offspring matches the parents, that's actually considered a super coat. And so if you don't have that designation, that it, the foal's coat matches the parent's coat, just give it to Miguel or one of the guys from Zed and they'll hook you up and be able to give you that designation. I personally don't have any bulls that have that designation, but I really haven't tried to get it either. There's something definitely in the cars that some people really, really like that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a rare thing. It's hard to do. It's not as easy as you think. But you want to watch and read all these. They're really good. So, back to here. I'm going to put them in for seven days. And I'm not going to raise a page. I think 0.09 is plenty. I mean, that's really the stage. Maybe, you know, a moon chaser, you know. I mean, he is a good horse, so maybe I should charge more. But I'm not going to. Tutorial. Here we go. I'll click next. And it'll say, are you sure? So you received a 35% discount. Uh, yes, sir. Confirm. Boom. MetaMask pops up. And it's thinking. Well, else do you want to put it in study? Yes, we do. Six bucks! Fuck, man. Sorry, back to the language. <laughs> but, alright. Just for my purposes, I'll do it. Six? There we go. Confirm. Bam. Now, it's, it's all about once the transaction goes through. Unless it's confirmed, seven days it'll count down. You can go to the marketplace. Stud service. And you can see here, Ace Deuce is not only a slate gray, it's a super rare coat color. I believe I've bred with this horse a few times as well. Again, AAA, shocker. But I have scored Stronghold Ivories and Slate Grays and Arctic Snows from this particular stud, even though he has raced zero times. But in another way, you can go. Transactions confirmed. Sweet. Activities, when you click that little link, it tells you, requested to put Moon Chaser in stuff. But all your race nominees, too, will go in here. So it gets a bit flooded with stuff. But if you want to make sure your transaction has been kind of recognized, you can go here and see. All right, we talked about presets in the past. I'm going to do it again real quick just because click that, get your presets, because that's how the, the gas transactions are going to be. But anyway, another time, especially when that's uh, more information that I guess release, I'll do a video. Go back to stud service. There he is, Moon Chaser, six days. Now, I have to remember, I said I had it in dollars, but you can change that. It's just up here. It's quick clicks. Boom, point zero nine. See, he's charging point one for this bad boy. Not a bad price, so, but he's a Z2 on a So it's kind of risky, but he is a super rare coat color. You know. Moon Chaser, maybe I should have done point one because he's a proven winner, but that's them the berries, as it were. So that's how you put a horse in stud, and I'll catch you again later on KBTV. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to use some uh, subscription or like, you know, hate to pedal, but it matters. Love you.